Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. It's still early morning here in South Africa, and I guess most of the country is still asleep. And I hope if your day has already started, it's going well. Remember to stay safe during these times. And in this video, we're going to look at the Brizzy Builder, and this is a primer video. So we're not going to deep dive into it. We're just looking at what the Brizzy Builder is all about. And I've got two tabs of Chrome open here on my site. Why? Because if you are a little bit familiar with Brizzy, you will know that there is Brizzy WordPress plugin and there's Brizzy Cloud. This video, we don't care about the differences between those two because central to these two is the Brizzy Builder. And we have separate videos on those two platforms. At the end of the day, how do you create a web page, the, the physical page that people, well, not physical, but the, the, the tangible, no, not even tangible, the page, the actual page, well, I'm, I'm getting lost here, the page that people will see on their website, on their display, that page is created within the Brizzy Builder. And how the page and the website operates, that's probably distributed to WordPress and then also to cloud. So we look here at the Brizzy Builder. And the reason I've got both open is on the left, I've got a Brizzy Cloud version, and on the right, I've got Brizzy WordPress. And just by looking at these two, they appear identical. And for all intents and purposes, 99%, they are identical. How your page is going to operate? Mostly identical. There are a few changes here and there that relates to the platform. For example, in WordPress, you may have additional elements. If you work with something like uh, WooCommerce, or if you build out posts. In Brizzy Cloud, on the other hand, you're going to have options to create pages. And I don't wanna to talk too much, and you just stare at this the whole time. Let me show you quickly. So what you see here, left is Cloud, right is WordPress, and they look the same, apart for one thing. And that's here in the bottom left. In the sidebar, you will see here, for your WordPress, you have a little page. And over here, for Cloud, you have this one that relates to settings. These are the only differences, but they don't even actually relate to how you build out the page. They are more of a setting nature for how the site works. And these are covered in separate videos, respectively for Cloud and then for WordPress. But when it comes to other things, and I'll just open this elements sidebar for both of them, you're going to see they look for most cases the same. This one on the left is pro. So you see there are more elements here. This one on the right is free. And this will be the same whether it's for the cloud or the WordPress. For WordPress, you will have then here WordPress elements. And you will see it says WordPress there, sidebar and short codes. And because on this site, I also have WooCommerce installed, it has a few elements for WooCommerce. But these are the elements. So just take note of that. And for the rest, everything works the same. Let's look then at the builder for this builder primer. And I'm using cloud here, but I could have used the WordPress one as well. It's the same, no changes. There are four areas when you get onto this page to which you have to pay attention to. The first is your page area. That is this entire big space here in the middle that says start building your page over here. The third is the page update and page controls options toolbar down here in the bottom right hand corner. Next is your sidebar on the left. Now the sidebar has two parts up here and then down here. And everything concerning the building of the page will happen with these three icons and then these three at the bottom mostly relate to functional settings for your site. The clue in starting to build out your page is start building your page. And this is where you have to start. You cannot start anywhere else. You have to begin here and click on this plus. And this will open the block manager or library manager for that matter. Over here, you see there are four tabs at the top. You have layouts, blocks, saved and global blocks. And where you will start always will be with blocks. 
you can choose any of these pre-made blocks. And pre-made blocks are blocks that have been designed by the Brizzy design team that you can use from the get-go. To give you an example, if I click on any of these blocks, let's say I see something that I like, and I think, hey, I actually would like to use this on my site. Maybe just change this guy to me, right? Then you simply click on this block, and Brizzy Builder will load this block for you. As I hover over this block, you will see a lot of borders and little dotted lines appear. And these are the borders for various elements. The dotted borders show us elements, and elements are content creators, which means it is text, it's an image, it's a button, things like that, real things that you can see on your site. When you see a blue line, or in this case, a pink line, these are columns. And columns are just like a table in WordPress or a cell in Excel. They are just a container. They keep things there and they structure them nicely together. You can see here I have a blue container. And if I go here to the left, I have another blue. So I've got actually two columns next to each other. Then within this column, as I go down, I have an element, another element, 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 and then I have the pink, and if I go to the right, another one. So here I have two columns within this blue column. And that's very similar to split cell when you are working within a table. You can split it, and now you have two separate containers. So everything within Brizzy starts with a block, which is this container, the big one, and then you build it out by using container elements, such as this one, the column. And then to bring in the content, you use elements. The elements that you use to create your content are found here in the sidebar on the left, in the top left-hand corner. You just click here on the plus, and it says Add Elements. There are many, many to choose from. And again, depending on the platform, and also whether it's free or pro, the number of elements here will vary. This is a pro version, so you can see there's quite a number of elements here. To work with an element, you simply click drag. So you click, hold, and drag it onto the page. And as you do that, you will see there's that thick gray line that appears. This is an indicator of where you can drop this element. Now, what I've got here is a text element. I'll go here, and I'll let go of the mouse, and it brings in that element. To edit this element, you simply click on it. And as you click on it, it will give you an options toolbar. And you can go around, click on other elements, and you will see the toolbar pops up. Depending on the element, you will have different options here in the toolbar. This is a button, so you will see over there that that icon looks different. If I go up here, this is an image, so it looks different. This one is a text element with a few more options. And over here, we have a countdown element that looks very different. Each of these elements have different features, but they also have some features in common. Look at this. There's a settings option, there's a duplicate option, and a delete option. And it doesn't matter which element you click on, you're going to see that. We cover this in the elements video. This is how you bring content onto your page. Well, what we had done earlier is we had brought in this pre-made design block, but what if you wanted to design a block from scratch? To bring in another block to build out your page, you just scroll down and you will see again, it says add a new block. Let's click on that. And instead of choosing one of these pre-made blocks, you click here on create your own. This will bring in a block container and you can see it's empty. No background, no nothing. To bring in elements, you can click here in the middle, and this will open the sidebar again. Or just click here to let go of the sidebar. You can just go again to the sidebar, click here on Add Elements, and you're back in the Elements sidebar. Let me show you how I go about creating content. I'll bring in columns first, because I want to have a few columns. And I'll grab the columns element here from the grid section. And now you can see I've got these two columns. I can access column settings by going up here, click there, and there you see I've got column settings. Create one more extra column, and now I've got three. And then simply go ahead, I look for an image, click drag, and then a map, 
click drag, and then text. Let's say with a button. And what else can I put in there? Let's say a line. And this doesn't look good at all, but it just shows you how easy it is to build out content within Brizzy. What else is in that library manager? Let's go down here again to add a new block and click on it again. We have layouts. Layouts are fully developed pages that allows you to bring in an entire website pre-designed for you. And all you need to do is switch out the content. With blocks, you've seen what blocks can do. And then with the saved and global blocks, you have the option to save blocks and reuse them. And global blocks, you have the option to save a block, apply them across your site. And when you make changes to one block, it changes all the other blocks. You'll use this media library quite a lot. Close up. Next, focus on this part here in the bottom right-hand corner. Every time you bring something onto your page, you have to save it. And that is done with update. This is a good friend. You're going to use it quite a lot. Once you have updated it, you can also view the page on the front end. That is the display as people who come to visit your site will see it. That is the preview button. And then you have options here to undo and redo what you've done, as well as to hide disabled elements. We go more in depth into all of these in videos within Brizzy. Let's then look at the sidebar and I'll only focus on this part here because related to the builder, these three options are very important. The first one, you know by now, that's how you add elements to your site. The second one is a thumbnail generator where you can see the blocks that you've brought onto your page. You can clearly see this is the one we have at the top and then the one here at the bottom with that image, the map, and then the text with the button that we've brought in there. What you do here basically is to reorder if you need to change the order of the blocks. If I grab this one, click drag, take it to the top and let go, you'll see it updates on my page as well. Same here, click drag and it updates very easily. You can also delete it over here. So if you don't want to use this block anymore, click on delete and you'll see it has been removed from the page. Let's go and test the undo button now. So over here where it says undo, and you have to get used to shortcut keys. We use them a lot. If you're on a Mac, this will be Command Z. I'm on a PC, Windows, so it's Control Z. And my block is back. I can go over here to the sidebar to reorder blocks, and you see it generates the thumbnail again. Under this is a very powerful feature within Brizzy called Styling. Clicking on styling, you will see that I've got current style selection up here. I've got these color squares, and then I've got a settings of many text settings over here, presets, let's call them presets. Three things happen then over here. This one over here is a general style that will change everything from the color to the text. Let me just scroll up a little bit, and then let me put it on overpass. If you are using Brizzy for the first time, it will be set to overpass, and this will be the default style, and everything will look really good. If I change it to any of these other styles, observe what happens to the color and the text. You'll see the color changes in certain places, as well as the font that had been used. Also have a look here. Let's have a look here at above title and the color swatches over here. Let's choose graceful. And you can see the text updates as well as the color updates here. This is an extremely powerful feature because it means that you can build out your site, apply specific colors from this palette over here and the fonts that you have assigned. And if later you say, hmm, I don't like this color over here, you simply come to your styling and you'll find the color over here and then change it to whichever color you intend to change it to. As simple as that. And this way you can build out a nice styling template for yourself and apply it across your website very easily. There's nothing really more to show about how the builder works. All that is left for you to do is to go and create a page, get here, go into the library manager, Grab either a pre-made block or start creating your own and then 
start building it out with the elements that you need in here. We have tutorials on everything. And for those we don't have, they are being rolled out. This way you can really build out a site very, very easily. You can download the WordPress or you can just simply sign up for Brizzy Cloud and start practicing today. Have a great day, stay safe, see you around. This is JP signing off.